Um, the topic today is uh, bringing some light into uh, a difficult question: is how to make the best of using language assistance in our uh, lessons in CLIL or EMI, whatever the um, model is. Uh, how to benefit from having a person who's a native speaker in our classes. There are three dimensions that, that bilingual schools are covering. We have, you know, what's called the language project in the school where all the subjects are involved, obviously. Then we have the, the pedagogical dimension, which is the most important one, as you probably know. And then we have the coordination between teachers. These three dimensions interact within each other so that they, we can have a, a good structure uh, of the bilingual uh, program. We have to uh, think about uh, what is exactly <coughs> the objective of having a, a language assistant. Obviously, it is uh, they are there to help develop the foreign language. This is something very obvious, all right? Mm -hmm. Then we have our consideration purposes. They're here to, they're there to bring the culture. As everybody knows, this is something extremely obvious. Language and culture go together. They go hand in hand. A third, uh, so we try to maximize the exposure of our students to the foreign language, that bringing a kind of language which is more authentic or native-like, obviously. And then we have to be there because we want to enhance the learning objectives, the learning outcomes, sorry. We want to achieve learning objectives with their help. And finally, obviously, as a whole, we are improving the quality of the, the teaching. This is, um, these are uh, all of them, maybe, as I put it here, is uh, maybe the, the, the normal objectives that we have when we are uh, bringing a native speaker into our program. Now, uh, let's talk a bit about planning. So when, when they sit down with language teachers and content teachers, what I should be doing? The suggestion, obviously, that the, the, oh, normally the, the schedules are very tight. We don't have many spaces to work collaboratively, but maybe deciding together with the bilingual coordinator that there's one hour a week, a weekly hour uh, to sit down and talk, that would be fantastic as a minimum. And then we can make use of uh, other resources like Google Docs, Dropbox, wherever that they, 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 they have an open space so that we can share bilingual coordinators, mentors, content teachers, language teachers, the materials and the ideas to plan together. It doesn't have to be limited to that particular hour that sit down and talk personally, right? And finally, uh, again, that uh, regularly, so we receive the feedback and the comments uh, as much as possible so that we can reflect together on what we are doing. We're going to talk a little bit about what kind of activities should be done by the language assistants uh, in the language classes and in the content classes. With respect to language classes, for example, uh, it is obviously a question of increasing the amount of exposure to the foreign language, but also that we, we help the language assistant, sorry, helps students uh, with scaffolding, uh, which may take the form of simplifications, repetitions, as we have here, comparisons, explaining key vocabulary, grouping language. So this, the language assistants are uh, making students uh, use the language more correctly in the sense that, so that, 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 that what they're looking for is that hey, this is the authentic way of saying things, things, this is the way you should, right? Okay, this is with the focus, obviously, we are in the language class on the language. Obviously, working on accuracy first, as I said before in another slide, and on fluency, and it, it might be uh, very um, important, it might be important to uh, suggest language assistants to work a lot on questioning. Uh, the extensive use of questioning, uh, extensive use of questions as we have it here, is one of the most uh, um, fruitful pedagogical techniques or uh, methodological strategies because the students are, <clears throat> uh, not, it's not that being tested obviously, but they give them the opportunity to use the language and to prove themselves, to tell themselves that they're using the language correctly. So this is a, like a, a bunch of suggestions for the language assistants to carry some kind of strategies, activities, uh, especially in the language classes.
this is the end of uh, I tried to cover a lot of topics so I'm very sorry apologize if I had to go through them uh, too quickly but I just wanted to give you some time to make questions or whether you can use a mic the microphone or in the chat